You're listening to the voice of IWA Flip here on Interfed Radio. And welcome to the Sounds of the Revolution. In studio, Brandon and Sean. Guys, you there? Yo, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? You know what? What's this one? Third, third one, fourth one? We're moving. We're moving this, man. It's yeah, it, fourth. It, it, <laughs> it's no, no stopping now, guys. Now, Fifty I, I, you have to retry. <laughs> th- thanks for the <laughs> reminder. <laughs> 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 Oh man, yeah, I've had I've had my issues with uh, technology these last couple of uh, last couple of weeks, man. But hopefully, hopefully none none today. Uh, now a, lo- a lot going on in the Revolution uh, Wrestling League. Uh, got a lot of managers uh, moving in. Got trash talk rolling. Uh, just had our uh, pay per view, so a lot to cover. So let's get let, let's crunch right into it. Uh, now as, as I'm looking at this cover, man. I, I, you know what? I'm glad the IWA finally let us uh, l- let us make this uh, happen. Cause wow, it's it's so much fun, man. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, the yeah. The, the normal cover was was or the first one was very good. I say, like, but this Dark Deeds, the pay per view edition, was very nice. Yeah. Oh, I, and I think that's just gonna add just that more, you know, aspect of wanting to get that, you know, that bulletin or get to that bulletin, that pay per view cycle, you know, cause yeah, I mean it, it. It adds a whole another dimension, and you know, moving forward, we'll probably, you know, if it's if there's like, a, you know, a championship match that that night, or you know, hi, or highlight the championship match, I should say, you know, on the front. So you know, moving forward, you know, we'll we'll take suggestions, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how how much more we can uh, upgrade that cover. Oh yeah, uh, I, th- I think we do plenty with it. You know, a lot of great ideas. Awesome. Now, uh, Revolution Wrestling uh, Champions uh, uh, for the 30th cycle, for our 30th cycle. Uh, Sean, did you want to read them off, or did you want me to? Yeah, I'll read them off. Perfect. Okay, we got RWO Champion Virus Misleading. You know, they come back in a big way uh, last cycle. You know, so, you, you know what? Bo- both of those, uh, or there's three of them now, I think, right? There's a new one. I saw another miss. I think it's just uh, I, there, I don't know. I'll, I'll take a look, but I, I think it's just the original three. Yeah, they, it's the original. Uh, yeah. They it, all scored big this month. Oh, okay. I, 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 you know what? I guess I had them. Uh, I, I only had them pinned as two: uh, misleading and misfortune. But there's another one, miss, misbehaving. Uh, misbehaving. But I think, I think there might yeah. be another miss in the bulletin somewhere. But I don't think it has anything to do with them. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, no, they, I mean, they, they said they were coming after those singles and damn it. <laughs> damn it. They, they, they have. Yeah. They're off to a good okay. start. All right. Rebel champion, Acid Rain. Glow champion, Aya Rathmore. Fabulous champion, Hope. Medusa champion, Winter Gore. Widow's Peak champion, The Hellion, Roxanne O'Connor. Uh, Phoenix champion, Susie Moon. Ivory champion, Miss Fortune. Young champion, Miss Behaven. Sensational champion, Lady Fango. Luna champion, Sky Rose. Stratus champion, Venus de Rose. Nice. Now on to the tag. RWL tag team champions, Winter and Ameris Gore. The Rebel Tag Team Champions, Acid Rain and Venus de Rose. RWL Six Women Champion, Winter Gore, Ameris Gore, and Trista Gore for the second cycle in a row. And Rebel Six Man Champions, Acid Rain, Venus de Rose, and Susie Moon. Nice. Now, um, I I know we said this the last time, Sean, but we definitely want to include... Our uh, our Revolt X champion listed with the champions, or or did you want to wait for our? Uh, no, we paper? can do that uh, right now. And the Revolt X champion was Susie Moon for the three cycles in a row. <laughs> get him, Susie! Get him! <laughs> oh man, 
Now, <clears throat> last time we uh, we wanted to highlight, you know, kind of uh, how these matches or how these titles uh, exchanged hands. Uh, Brandon, did you uh, did you have that this time around or? Yeah, I did. Um, I kind of shortened it up a little bit, though. So uh, in card two, winner Namaris Gore beat Aya and the Russian Nightmare Vlada Morozov for the tag team titles with the Gore's end. In card number seven, Hope defeated the deviant Erica Rockwell with a Texas Cloverleaf for the Fabulous title. In card eight, Venus, Acid, and uh, Susie Moon defeated Slamorella, the Fabulous Lucy Fur, and Bonita LaBelle for the six, uh, Rebel Six Woman title with the Acid Bomb. Card number 10, uh, Sky Rose getting back on the title page. She defeated uh, Liberty Monroe with a pile driver to win the Luna title. And card 21, Acid Rain defeated Miss Fortune with a backbreaker to win the Rebel title. In card 25, Venus DeRose defeated Amerisgore with the Violent Bloom to win the Stratus title. In card 26, Misbehaving defeated Tina Dolan with a pile driver to win the Young title. In card 27, Venus DeRose and Acid Rain defeated Witchy Wanda and Patty Cakes by DQ to win the Rebel Tag. <laughs> Slip that one in there. <sighs> and then uh, card 30, Aya Rathmore defeated the fabulous Lucy Fur with the Dragon Wing Body Slam to win the Glow title. The Battle Royal had 15 women in it this time. Uh, Roxanne O'Connor won. She took the Widow's Peak title out of the Battle Royal. And Miss Fortune took the Ivory title out of the Battle Royal. And then, nice. uh, like Sean said, uh, the Gore's back-to-back -back champs. And special shout-out to Winter Gore, as much as, I, as much as I hate to do that, you know. But uh, three cycles in a row, Medusa title. That's impressive. Are you kidding me? Three in a row. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, I mean, uh, I, I know we're going to get into the pay-per-view and we're going to get into the trash talk, but, I mean, just a, just a new mix that's happening here. You know, we got we got new managers that are coming in. Uh, obviously, some have changed their play style as to where they were, you know, looking for tag and six. Now their focus has changed to the singles. So it, it, it is nice to see, uh, you know, see the competition level uh raising here <laughs> hey you know 2019 is going to be huge for the rwl because we have so much huge stuff planned, <laughs> so much stuff planned and like you like you said a few new managers lately i know we got a returning manager is going to be coming back another new manager that i talked to yesterday is going to be coming in another new yeah new manager so i mean there's a lot going on now i mean when I when I look at that front page and I see uh I, I see the six man game. I mean the the Gores have you know pretty much you know come here and said hey you know what we're not going anywhere you know we're we're, we're gonna you know cleanse this whole damn league and you know I, I, yeah they're always on top of their six man game man those Gores six man yeah they're hard to they're, they're yeah they're hard to beat. Um, with, uh, you know, w with our pay-per-view, you know, obviously the trash talk that led up to it was, uh, was pretty, pretty awesome. Did you guys want to go over the trash talk before the pay-per-view or, or did you want to do pay-per-views and then, uh, kind of touch on the, on the trash talk? Let me I, pay -view. I, okay. <laughs> let me, let, let me scroll through the pay-per-view ones. Yeah. I mean, what's my call? We can go through the pay-per-view. <clears throat> And then uh, if there's anything, any trash talk that kind of led up to that, we could bring it up during the yeah. matches. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> All righty. So now, uh, now for anyone listening, uh, again, uh, make sure you join the Facebook group. Revolution Wrestling is on Facebook. Uh, all new Revolution Wrestling. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and have this link scrolling at the bottom. So in case you want to, you know, you know, get get to our Facebook a little easier. We'll scroll the link, but uh, a lot happens on there, uh, including you know the release of uh, last minute cards. I mean, because Sean, 
w- w- when that one went up, I mean, you could imagine. I mean, I, I saw it and I'm like, wait a minute. Who's yeah, this? Yeah, put it up the day before, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was awesome, man. I'm yeah. like, oh, this son of a gun got one last minute. And yeah. uh, I, I was talking with a couple managers, Sean, how, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, that surprise aspect of the IWA is gone. You know, back in the days, you used to wait mm-hmm. by the, by the you know, mailbox and you used to wait for your envelope and you would rip off your envelope and, you know, you'd be like, wow, look what's here. But I think you captured that perfectly with the Facebook aspect, bro, because, you know, again, this is still an extension of the game. Yeah, it's not coming with the bulletin. Yeah, it's not coming. You know, again, there's different ways to play it. This is uh, this is trying to move the revolution wrestling into a new era. You know, again, using what we have available, you know, to us these days, you know, back in the days, you know, let's be honest, the technology wasn't there. It wasn't available for us. Now it is. So, you know. To, to get that shock factor, you know, two thumbs up, Sean, because that was awesome, brother. Yeah, I, I decided to do that because I had the card made probably like a week before. I'm like, I'm just going to debut it the day before the bulletin comes out, you know, because it's like a pre-show. You get the bulletin. Okay, that's the main show. And pre-show, I figured, oh, I think it would be a cool idea. So do it yeah, on Facebook that- real quick. I mean, obviously, Sean, you're going to run into the criticism where like, oh, it's a play by mail yeah. game. You know, you got to oh. have it in the bulletin. And it's like, you know what? You you don't. <laughs> you don't. You, no, no. You know, hey, if you want, if you feel like playing in a game where everything comes with a bulletin, everything, you know, is shipped to you, you know, then, you know, yeah, yeah, go. Well, go if you there. think about it, you know, we're like this show we're doing right now is an extension of the game. Yes. Like Facebook is an extension of the game. You know, yeah, it's oh, not yeah. like we're doing like write up write ups of the podcast and putting it in the bulletin. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like it's here if you want to. It's listen all to it. just because people want more. You know, if they want more, then you know you're giving it to them, and we're giving it to them on Facebook. Yeah, right. and, and 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 like I said, and it, it definitely works as that similar you know similar shock factor you know to back yeah. in the days. So I you know like I said, I'm I'm grateful that we can still have that uh that aspect added to the game because that, that was awesome. Now. Uh, in terms of that card, uh, it, it was like a last minute, you know, kind of brought together to, to you know, I, I think it's beautiful that, you know, as a commissioner, you could, you know, you have such a grasp on your league that you notice the new talent. And instead of waiting for the next pay-per-view, you just said, hey, you know what? You know, here you go. And got them right into the mix. Exactly. That's what I wanted to do because uh, Anthony's coming to the league. So I, I, you know, it's pretty much his his people against some other people. I'm like, I'll do something for him. You know, you come to the league, hopefully keep him around. You know, so it's yeah, like no. a, a thank you. You know, awesome. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think uh, I think we had mentioned that about uh, uh about Julia Vins. I mean, I know we try to make you know we try to make her as welcome as possible. But again, some managers exactly. they're you know they they're yeah, it, it's just the way they're going to play. They're going to come and go, test mm-hmm. the waters, and. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I, I think Anthony's uh, here for a, for a nice run, so. I hope so. Yeah, we're glad to have him. Yeah. Now, um, l- let's go ahead and cover those uh, All right. those cards on that one. What do we got? Let's see here. All righty, so we had, uh, oh, come on. I love it when technology doesn't go my way. Here we go. There he goes. <laughs> All righty. So we had uh, the Dark Deeds pre-show. Uh, uh, the first on the card, we had Savannah Ray versus uh, Brittany Page. Uh, yes. Savannah Savannah took that one. Yep. Now, now Savannah Ray, is she stabled or is she, you know, she uh, a floater? No, no she's a floater. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Rachel Ortiz versus Tammy Torres. Yeah, see, these, these names are way off of my radar. Yeah. The, the Davis Twins versus the... Oh, yeah, he got the Riot Girls. I hate those yep. girls, by the way. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those Riot Girls, man. Man, Sean, how many times do I got to ask you to add some jobbers, man, so we stop going against those stupid Riot Girls and uh, what, what's the other one? The stupid little midget twins, the Bellatrixers or whatever yeah. the hell they're... <laughs> They're oh. coming. They're coming. Oh no, man! You, you, I, I, I actually enjoy it. As stupid as that sounds, bro. But I know some managers that that get the yeah. the match deal get annoyed because I mean 
I, I got beat this cycle, uh, I think, by – had it been a riot girl. So somebody got me this cycle. And I'm looking down there, and I'm like, who, I, who the hell got – I'm like, oh, this son of a – you know, <laughs> for floating around down there. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, c- congratulations, Davis Twins, man. Uh, let's see here. Um, and then we had we had two cards. Uh, I don't want to call them two cards, but we had like the two the days. light side and the dark yeah. side. <laughs> the light yeah. side and the dark side of the of yeah. the official uh, card. Uh, let's see. Here. You like how I did that, didn't you? Sir? I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it gave it like I told you. I did better on the dark side. <laughs> I did better on the dark side. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see here. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read them off. Uh, yes. Because uh, let's see here, and then you tell me whether uh, we had uh, on the on the light side of the card. Uh, the first match I see on here is uh, uh, Guardian Riku versus uh, B- Buffy the Body. Yes, Guardian won that one. Guardian versus the Body, huh? and dude, these are another two that are off of my radar. We got a lot of new people here, man. I gotta I gotta go back and dig in. Some of these are older ones too. Oh, okay, so they give them. Uh, you know, shout out, you know, try to nice. if they see it like, oh, yeah, I need to start playing more. You know? Come back, come back this way. Uh, now, this is a newcomer Slammerella versus uh, Diesel Derby. Uh, Diesel Derby got that one. Damn Slammerella. <laughs> uh, Tina Dolland versus Girly Girl Grande. Yes, Tina Dalian took out the girl. Tina Dolland. Yeah, she's uh, been pretty good lately. Yeah, she's been on those IMT girls. Uh, TLC match: uh, Bonita Labelle and Lucifer versus Misfortune and Misleading. Uh, Misfortune and Misleading. You know they're making a comeback and they took the win. Uh, they don't fight fair though, man. They don't fight. They don't fight fair. Yeah, they have tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh yeah, I guess if it's in the match, it is fair. I guess so. yeah, we, <laughs> we, we we're gonna have to put a uh, Bonita to lift some more weights or something. Maybe she can swing in the chair next next cycle. Ah, <laughs> uh, now beloved versus Ashley Moscato. Beloved, the veteran, she took it. I, you know what that 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 one right there. Like I said, I know she's been around from day one to see them finally trash talking that. Yeah. Gonna be gonna be nice moving forward with the love. Now, our contender X match, Queen Natasha versus Babs Capone. Yeah, the Queen took it. Yeah, I I, I guess uh, <laughs> going for Susie Moon. Yeah. I, I guess all that uh, all the distraction and I, I was it um, I'm trying to think who was Vlada. it Vlada Vlada right Vlada came and you know distractions you know our yeah. our distractions can be a heck of a. A heck of a uh, thing right here in the you know those mind games will get you. Yeah, don't be don't be too hard on Babs because uh, yeah she didn't uh, have to deal with a little outside interference. <laughs> oh. yeah, she didn't have Frankie with her. So. Dang it! Now uh, on the dark side of the dark deeds, this is uh, I, I guess you could say this is the the second half of the show, and you know the the more uh, dominant yeah. matches or the most prominent matches uh, of the show. Uh, we had hope. Uh, versus the deviant yeah hope hope took out the deviant one nice and, nice and you want to know an interesting fact about that match right there hope actually won the fabulous title from her nice very cool yeah even though i didn't pl- I, I used just point flow so it just happened that hope or deviant fought each other so that's kind of interesting because that's very just cool iwa points Instead of signing all the matches, so. you 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 know what, and that just goes to show that uh, you know someone like the Deviant who is, uh, you know, she, she's she's well renowned, you know, in terms of you know, you know, someone that doesn't need any more gold, you know, obviously the Deviant, you know, wouldn't mind any more gold, but she doesn't really, you know, she she's not like uh, I'm trying to think of uh, what's the creature from the Lord of the Rings, the Gollum, the Gollum, oh. she's not like Gollum, my precious, you know, she doesn't really, you know, so she put the title <laughs> on the line. That's awesome. You know, not not too many not too many girls would be willing to put the title on the line at a pay per view. You know, right? But I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say she's probably better looking than Golem is. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I, I would hope. hope at least, you know? I would hope, yeah. I would, oh man, unless you got that uh, weird uh, Golem taste, you know? Hey, that's 
That's a that's a whole that's a whole nother that's a whole nother story there. If she looks now, like Gollum, we're gonna have to put up. She's gonna get the <laughs> the the question mark face that we were talking about last time. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Now, uh, tag team matchup, and these two have been going at it, man. They, I, this is gonna yeah. Venus to Rose, Acid Rain versus Amaris and Trista Gore. Yeah, uh, Venus and Acid took it to the nice, and... nice. Yeah, now, um, no, back... I... oh, go, go ahead, ahead, Brent. I was just gonna say now, two, two things with this. Th- this is definitely not gonna be the end of these uh, four women, no. and not only that, uh, well, they this isn't the tag team champion version of the Gores, no. so there are no titles on the line in this one because actually. Uh, one of the matches during the card, it was Winter Gore and Ameris, and they beat Acid and Venus. So, you know, In- interesting. Yeah. So, that's, right. so, so I guess I guess they got upset for losing at the pay per view that they they came they came at him or, or yeah they switched up a player on us. They, yeah, they switched, switched it. Now now uh, I, I I mean I I know you guys you guys saw that I mean the the Gore's coming out there with that wooden uh, that wooden bowl. You know, ready yeah. to ready to cleanse the the RWL. I mean, that thing was creepy, man. That thing was creepy as hell. Oh man, those gores, man. Yeah, they're rolling. Now, uh, here we go. It looks like uh, the battle for the swear jar. Uh, Gabby Wonder versus the Starlet. Gabby gets to keep the swear jar. Gabby gets to keep it, huh? Yeah. So you yeah. know, I, I you know what we've been th- this show. I know we've been good. I know we've been good because. <laughs> I've been I've been watching myself. I, I haven't had enough coffee yet to go off the edge. <laughs> I think Gabby would be proud. Oh yeah. man, I, I I lost it on a couple other shows, man. I think Eric said he's like, dude, Gabby's not gonna have any money to put in her own Gabby in her own jar. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm like, oh man, here we go now. Oh yeah, speaking of uh, the cleansing, uh, first blood match, Aya Rathmore versus Winter Gore. Oh, Gabby, I mean Aya. I have bled. Oh, the first no. one to bleed, so winner, winner took the match. Oh, this is not it. the end of it. Yeah. No, no, d- d- definitely not the end of the cleansing, and definitely not the end of uh, of that match up there. Because I know, I know, I uh, and like I said, nah, th- this is not going to end uh, end pretty. Well, uh, we still don't know if it was Winter Gore that attacked Aya, right? We're still That's trying true. to figure that out. That's true. We don't know. That's who uh, I just accused Winner. Yeah, no, but I mean, it, it the if uh, what what is it? If the pieces of the puzzle fit, you know, I, it, it it looks like they're the ones. But again, I don't want to point the finger yet until we get some more. Right. Well, maybe now, maybe I'll fill us in this next cycle. Nice, but, uh, nice. I, I like it. Now, as we as we mentioned uh, with our champions, you know, we had our Revolt X Championship there at the pay per view with uh, Alexis Rose. Uh, the Hellion, Roxanne O'Connor, and Susie Moon. And uh, as, as you mentioned earlier, Sean, Susie became the first uh, three-time yes. Revolt X champion. You know, congratulations, Susie Moon. Like I said, uh, hold that belt up and, you know, get that fist in the air, man. But an interesting thing about her next opponent, Hellion Rox o- Roxanne O'Connor is back because she won the Battle Royal. She got so pissed off, she lost Revolt X. She won the Battle Royal to get another chance at Susie Moon. Dang. She had extra, extra motivation. Yeah. Relentless. The re, you know, we're we're going to change, change, change your name from the Hellion to the Relentless one. Exactly. <laughs> Man. And Queen Natasha be in that triple threat with him. First time... That she gets a chance at this. Nice. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we, we've gone on air. Uh, for those of you guys that are first-time listeners, uh, our Revolt X champion uh, normally contends the the following cycle against the Battle Royal winner and our uh, Contender X winner. So, uh, you know, so the, it, it's a fighting champion, you know, so someone like uh, Susie, who's now defended it three times against, you know, top-notch competition, you know, it, it's one of those things that we, you know, <clears throat> we've mentioned on here before. You know, a lot of people don't like the the fact that the belt is defended every cycle. But, you know, the way we see it, you know, we have a fighting champion. 
you know, and the champion there, you know, if you win it back to back, even more, you know, more prestige to you because it's it's not something that you can do easily. Oh, it's hard. It's a hard title. Nice. Now, um, as we as we move into into the new year, Sean, I, I know we mentioned the points, uh, the points race that we were going to initiate. Yes. I, I think uh, was it uh, was it you, Brandon? You mentioned you have a little rundown as to w- what the points. Did you want to do the points or or the trash talk first? Well, you know, as far as the point race goes, I think maybe we'll reveal more about that next time. Okay, I, yeah, let's perfect. kind of still working on it. Um, so, like I said, big, big things planned for that. You know, just like big things planned for st- you know stuff to come. But I will it, reveal. I want to reveal something about the point. It's called the R- RWO Ladies Elite Challenge. I love it. Official, <laughs> official names. Like I said, we'll, and, and we'll leave it with that little cliffhanger for for, for that aspect of that. Yeah. If, of, of the, I was gonna say, if, if you've seen like you know other commissioner reports and stuff, you kind of get an idea of what you get the points for, the different titles and stuff. But we're gonna throw some other stuff in there too because we want to keep as many people in the mix, you know what I mean? Oh, most so definitely. It, yeah, we'll it keep it competitive. Time. Right. I, I think one of the things, without giving away too much, Brandon, that you mentioned is, you know, you know, getting a reward for just entering, like, the Battle Royal. Now, in terms of how much of a reward or how much of a point, you know, is still to be determined. But, yes. you know, we definitely, we definitely right. want to reward those managers that are spending that dollar and entering that Battle Royal, you know, cycle in, cycle out, because it's... Because it's a whole dollar, man, and you know, we got to reward yeah. it. Dang it, <laughs> we got to. <laughs> yeah, you got to. And plus, not only that, if somebody has five or six wrestlers, they're spending like six dollars, you know. So oh yeah, it, I think it's a beautiful thing. Like I said, it, it's it's nice to it's nice to get a little reward for for that dollar because yeah, yeah, but de- definitely more to come. Now, as I'm as I'm moving through this, I mean, we, we trash talk is uh, has been picking up. And, I guess uh, I have. love it. Oh yeah, and and I I seen uh, like I said I saw the cleansing. Uh, any any of the other trash talks uh, stand out, guys, or or do you want to go from? Uh, let's see here. Well, we had uh, Bonita and uh, Lucy. They had, yeah. had some stuff to say about the misfits. <laughs> yeah. Yes, now. Sir. Now, now Bonita and Lucy, you know, they're they're uh, you know they're some of my classic uh, ladies. So they've they've traveled and uh, uh, believe it or not, they've had encounters with the Misfits before, and 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 at the same time they had encounters with uh, the Misfits uh, other other sister uh, uh, group, the Beavers. Uh, oh, oh yeah. So so the the Beavers and the Misfits were in the MML, and you know, so they had they've had their tangles and. Uh, to see the misfits come out of the shadows now and uh you know and, and and actually become more relevant is awesome because i i know what they can do uh sucks that they're taking some of my titles no uh, but hey I, i'd rather i'd rather they compete for you know for the whole show and uh and bring their a game because you know I, I hate the fact you know well you know this is personal you know this is in my in my opinion where they just want to come in for just tag and six you know so to see them now expanding out into the singles game, you know, even though it's going to, you know, take some gold away from some people, but right. it, it, it is going to make that competition level rise. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, um, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but uh, Slammerella still hasn't been pictured. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors as the. The nature of the Slammerella character. Yeah, it's going, <laughs> it's, it's going around the locker room. Yeah, and and me me personally, from what I've heard, is that she's just so ugly that Bonita and Lucy just don't want her pictured, so they always have her hold the camera. Oh, okay. So I mean, I, I'm I'm curious as to what's going to happen. Uh, you know, I, I know Bonita doesn't like her already because you know you know Slammerella is more of a bitch. So uh, it, it's I know the tension is in the background already, but you know. We'll we'll see how that develops moving forward. You know, hopefully they can keep Slammerella in uh, in Por La Paz, but you know we will see how that develops moving forward. But or see if the the need of the brown paper bag comes out. Oh man! Oh yeah. 
Oh, the bag. Oh, the bag. Oh, man. Now, Alexis, Alexis Rose. Yeah, she had some more to say. Yeah, she definitely uh, let us know that they're looking for what they're They've already had seven RWL uh, league titles. So looking and, to add and, to and that she, count. And, and she she called it. She's all like, hey, you know, the the you know, the misfits are here. And, you know, sure enough, you know, a, a, as we read the champions, you saw all three of them, you know, on that front page. So. Now, now, Alexis Rose is the one that was she said she was the first IWA world champion or women's world champion out of the RWL. Yes, that's what she said uh, last cycle, I believe. Nice, nice. And, and uh, for anyone that knows, I mean, and we, we've said it on air before, uh, Alexis, nothing against that uh, accomplishment because any, anytime somebody wins a world uh, association title, it's awesome. I go, but if it was in the time when not every division or not every federation had a women's title, you know, I don't want to take anything away from it, but, you know, the competition nowadays is definitely a lot tougher, so... You know, I'm, I'm curious to see if they can bring it home again. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. But also, uh, probably a first for Alexis as she got to, you know, be the, you know, pose for a painting. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> if yeah. you look a little further in uh, into the trash talk, uh, Lady Fango was doing a sit down with uh, Commissioner Coach Goldstein. Team. And Goldstein, uh, you know, was kind of throwing her some nice, uh, nice little softball questions, and kind of revealed to her live on the air that she was not going to be part of the pay per view because of an injury. And nice. uh, she kind of lost her shit. And sorry, Gabby. Um, <laughs> basically, uh, I guess at one point they were talking about how she used to paint, and Goldstein, who used to be. Lady Fango's manager before he became commissioner, he, uh, you know, always wanted to have a painting from her. So Alexis Rose just happened to come walking by and kind of smirked when Go was kind of losing it. And uh, Go attacked her and kind of bloodied her face and used the blood to paint a little picture for Goldstein. Nice. I love it. Yeah. Now, uh, hangs man, in his I office. I, I I forget that artist man and uh, I mean maybe you one of you guys uh, a, a, as I say it is it Jason Pollock Pollock Jason the guy that the, the, he does like the splatter the splatter uh... yeah that sounds about right yeah I, I, I forget his name but yeah he, he Jason does that Pollock I believe yeah. right yes and he does all that splatter the splatter style painting that when I saw that one man I was man. like that's exactly what that go painting reminded me of man like a Jason <laughs> like. Splatter work with uh, Alexis's blood. <laughs> Alexis's blood. Yeah, so hopefully uh, Alexis will uh, have a response. Nice. Yeah. To go original. <laughs> I love it. The go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, save it. Save the go. Oh, man. Hopefully hopefully in time it'll be as much as, uh, as an actual Van Gogh, too. <laughs> hopefully it is. Oh, yeah, man. We had... Uh... The beautiful people showed up and uh, gave us a little uh, sneak peek. The beautiful people? Who, who in the world is that? Ah! <laughs> oh, the beautiful people. Now, you know what? You can underestimate the beautiful people as much as you guys want. I've, I've seen this manager bring talent before. In other in other uh, in other leagues in other uh, federations, and I remember he- hearing the thoughts or or hearing the the talk in the locker rooms like, is this guy for reals? Is this you know look at look at this guy? Is he for reals? And yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> we can't confirm. Uh, but uh, yeah, the beautiful people definitely are gonna are, are gonna be an instant impact. I I, I you know what I'm saying? I'm calling I'm calling it now. You know they're definitely gonna be an instant impact. Yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see. And they definitely they called out the Gores, um, and they also said that they're looking uh, taking that Bold X title. Nice. Now uh, I mean the beautiful people. I'll I'll, I'll tell you like this. Uh, I mean, they're going to challenge one and all. 
I mean, so so you know, first come first serve is going to get their dibs. They're they're not going to shy away, and uh, like I said, and and they're the kind of they're the kind of uh, you know they're managed by the the type of person who isn't going to you know when it's all said and done after the series after the pay per view. I know they're they're professionals and they're going to shake. And uh, like I said, I, I just hope we can keep them around long enough to you know to to go round robin around the league because there's a lot of competition here for the beautiful people, and I think. Uh, I think having them here is, is going to be fun. Well, after a lot of these managers see what's, what's coming, I believe a lot of them can you know, stick around. So. <laughs> I, think, I think so, too, yeah. man. Now, um, uh, did, did, uh, I think we skipped over the Rebellion. Yes, the Rebellion. They, uh, and they called some people out, too. They talked, yeah. about, they talked about Alexis Rose a little bit. Um, Susie Moon, of course. Obviously, they they're focused. All three of them, any of them, can win the Revolt title, like on any given yeah. day. And and, and it seems and it seems like they weren't a little happy with uh, with Gabby and her uh, and her precious swear jar. <laughs> it seems like they were... no. <laughs> oh man! But you know what? The the rebellion, like I said, they've uh, they, they've made their mark here in an in an instant, and uh, you know. Now, now that the competition is uh, heating up here, I, I, I'm curious to see with uh, with them, you know, being so hot and attracting attention back to the RWL as well. Because, you know, let, let let's say it like it is, guys. Certain managers attract uh, attract the attention, yes. and uh, you know, this is one of those managers that, you know, he he's targeted throughout the the association. So, you know. I, I I want I want my fair share of the rebellion, as you guys can tell. Like I said, uh, I, I'm gonna keep my uh, I'm gonna keep my swear jar moving because yeah, it looks like they're gonna keep dropping that B word. <laughs> it looks like they're gonna yeah. keep dropping it. And you know what? Like already in their short time here, I mean, not even counting like tag and six man, they've been they've held the league title like three times, and they've also been Revolt X champions. So yes, doing a lot of a lot of work. Yeah, and, and and that battle royal, man. They they work that battle royal mm-hmm. cycle in, cycle out, and uh yeah, so you know, kudos, man. Now now we had mentioned we had mentioned these the, the this trash talk early because when I read it, it creeped me out, man. I was like, you know, just that, that wooden that wooden bowl, you know, that wooden bowl is just there's something about that wooden bowl that creeps me out, man. Just to think that it would, you know, it, you know, it's gonna get blood dripped all over it, and you know how it stains the the wood. Oh yeah, it, all all the gores. I tell you what, despite the fact that they are feuding with the NRA, I will say that uh, if Malik was at home watching, he'd probably be a fan of the gores. Oh, I think he would too. <laughs> Him in the red show. Oh man, yeah. I, I I hope we can broadcast, uh, or I hope they're getting a broadcast somewhere in the SHL dimension that. Uh, that he's gonna become a fan. <laughs> that he's gonna become a fan. Yeah, I think he'd enjoy it. Oh man. Now, um, Gabby, 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 Gabby. I mean, she's she she's uh like I said, she's still took looking to uh keep her PG way. She's looking to move uh, move forward, but a, a lot's going on here, and I'm not sure how much uh, Gabby uh. How much Gabby is going to, you know, stay in control because, you know, with with all the new faces coming, with all the new heels coming, with all the new uh, action coming, you know, it's it, it's going to be a, a nice 2019 for Gabby because she's going to have to really, really, uh, you know, keep her, you know, keep her bind or keep, keep her uh, keep her ground. Yeah, she's definitely got the fans behind her. That's no, no doubt about that. And she's been on she's been on a roll lately. I mean, she's doing very well. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot more to explore now. Um, for, for those of you guys that have been keeping up with the Facebook, uh, I think just this past week, uh, uh, you know, the commissioner unveiled another, uh, another aspect to the league. And uh, Sean, did you want to talk a little more about uh, w- what's going on on Facebook with our uh, our new Facebook championship Facebook tournament? Yeah, I decided uh, unveiling a new title called the profile title and it's going to start off with a a battle royal i mean um, a tournament on facebook 
where each manager you you could put in two of your uh wrestlers into it. And it'll start in let me see and there's also a new uh a new addition, Quintus Cage, exclusive to uh Facebook is gonna be running it. Nice, nice. I I I definitely saw the announcement Mr. Cage yeah. had and uh uh, you know, the first thing that popped into my mind when I saw that, Sean, I, I thought of like uh, like a television title. You know, this is going to be exclusive to the Facebook, exactly. just like a t- just like a television title would be exclusive to to that, you know, that broadcast or that that show. So that, that's exactly what, r- what runs through my head when I see something like that. And, uh, and and to and to keep it an even playing field, like you mentioned, you know, having, you know, two per manager, I think with yeah. the number that we have there, I think that's a good uh It'll give us a good uh, mix right there with that. Okay, and pretty much this is what he said. I'll just uh, say what he's, you know, read what he uh, what he's talking about here. He said, I am Quintus Cage taking over Facebook RWL duties from a very busy Morty Beagleson. All new, Revo- All new Revolution Wrestling and Facebook have once again partnered to bring some more wrestling excitement, but this time in the form of a tournament. And this tournament will decide the Facebook RWL profile champion. This title will only be defended on Facebook, but will still count for RWL points race. And the nice. winner of the tournament will get 10 free matches. I, I love and, it. Yeah, and Commissioner Goldstein told him that he's, he only accept two wrestlers per manager, and the wrestlers themselves must telling their own words that they want to enter the tournament. So I, I you know what when, when, when I saw trash talk when I saw when I saw that little uh that that little line right there I was like you know what yes yes mm-hmm. you know make the make the wrestlers come and, and and announce it you know what come come out here you know m- make your presence known and uh yeah, yeah. A- as soon as some more managers uh, start adding their names I think I think we're going to use that as a, as a nice thread to kind of you know get get, yeah. get some get some trash talk brewing so and what i'll do i'll I'll put this on in the bulletin you know because some people they'll say okay i need to go over to facebook and start joining that and you and it's by cycle 32 because i believe 33 will start the tournament nice nice now uh in, in that statement uh that mr cage had uh i i heard something about uh mr vigason Morty. Yeah, he's uh he's pretty busy right now. Right now he's getting uh getting the point system worked out, but he's also in the uh, Yellow Jacket League doing a I, tournament. Right I, now. I, I, I was I was about yeah. to say that, man. Get get yeah. it in, dude, because like I said, I mean, even though you know, I, I would hope down the line we can also have uh have a show for the Yellow Jacket League, but I, you know, definitely uh yeah. you know when anytime commissioners you know extend themselves out more. I definitely want to, you know, allow you to get a get a plug and, you know, yeah, like I said, if we can work something out, I know there's a lot going on in the iron, but if you haven't checked out the Yellow Jacket, they've been revamped. Go take a look. Vody Migosin's over there also uh, working his magic, so. Would you say he's on, like, special assignment, or is he kind of being held against his will over there? Uh, it's debatable, but I believe he thinks he's being held against his will. <laughs> he's got got the yellow king over there and oh, you know man. so it's very interesting things going on over in the yellow jacket right now it over is, in it is it is like i said this uh the association is big you know the iwa like we mentioned here is humongous so yeah a lot, lot going on in the iron so if you do have an iron uh you know or or if you do have uh you know, a little spot in your heart for iron because iron is a tough sob, man. <laughs> iron is a tough one. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So check check out the yellow jacket there. Uh, now, um, moving moving forward, I know we have uh, you know we have our uh, we're gonna are, are we gonna continue? Are we gonna move back into like the uh, turmoil and uh, uh, Monday yeah. night? Revolt? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just on hiatus for the pay-per-view. Yeah, it was on hiatus. for Every time I do a pay-per-view, you know, instead of trying to make up matches for uh, Monday night and Wednesday night, because most, most of the, all the talent would be in the pay-per-view. 
Yeah, no, so I, I, I think it comes back next cycle. So. I, I definitely enjoyed that switch up, uh, Sean. I mean, that just uh, a, another thing, like I said, uh, you know, other commissioners uh, listening in, you know, take take notes, you know, because there are things that you might have to adjust on a fly or adjust as you as you, you know, and, and l- let's say it like it is, Sean. I mean, because it's a part of, you know, your work, you know, because, you know, every commissioner does this, you know, with their hobby, does this, you know, with their free time. So. You don't want to, like you said, you don't want to overwhelm yourself, you know, get or give yourself a headache making up matches just for filler, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I think what you did and just highlighted, you know, you know, the entire cast onto the, you know, onto the Dark Deed matches is awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. And the next pay-per-view will be cycle 35. Like I said last time, about every five cycles, try to have a pay-per-view so we can build up matches organically you know nice now uh you know we did get it we did get a good number of uh of avatars and i'm gonna say it right now because you know by the time you guys listen i'll I'll already have edited this show and uh as you saw throughout the show you know if you saw a shadow with a question mark well guess what you either chose that you know because believe it or not some managers want that shadow with a question mark. They're like, hey, you know what? I'd rather it be a mystery. You know, you know, I, I want them to use their imagination and, you know, whatever my trash talk, you know, personifies in their mind, that's that's what I want them to keep, you know. So they don't want an avatar. I'm like, I get it. That's awesome. If you want that, if you want a shadow, let me know. I'll gladly accommodate. I'll gladly accommodate with a shadow. Either that but, or the bitch is ugly. <laughs> 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 oh man so and you know uh but if you did notice yeah as we mentioned in the the results for the for the dark deeds we do have you know some avatars so the champions were you know displayed throughout the show so you know if you do want that you know or if you do want your wrestler uh i guess showcased in that matter you know make sure you reach out to us on facebook or via via the bulletin or via you know pm whatever way reach out to us and get us an avatar or or settle for the shadow or <laughs> settle for the shadow. <laughs> yes <laughs> oh man guys uh okay, are, 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 are we uh are we about are we about wrapping this one up or, or is there anything else that we have we forgot to cover no, i think uh i think that's pretty much it we'll have more to announce next uh on the next one Nice. Like I said, as we're going, I know we, I know we had some more additions. I know uh, I'll shout them out because I saw it on the Facebook. Uh, you know, uh, it looks like Gold Gold Lust is uh, coming to the RWL. So, you know, and, and and I'll tell you this. I mean, j- just to touch on that character a little bit. I mean, with with the with the cast that we have, I'm glad we have a couple characters that we can be a little, you know, a little more uh, loose. Uncomfortable. With little, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, because you know we we do need a little comic relief from time to time, or some little you know off the wall stuff because you know it just it, it's part of the you know the diversity in the league. So I, I'm I'm just curious as to you know what what, what the what the application said. I mean, is this I mean, is this something that we're just gonna allow you know outright? Are we gonna you know force him into some you know handicap matches or 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 is it or do we just you know straight out consider him or her and you know let him yeah it's hard to tell i mean is is it a guy is it a girl transgender yeah so i mean i don't know, know. Did, did, did he take the bruce jenner way or you know i don't know yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> so a lot a lot to a lot to you know wrap around that character and so i'm curious to see how uh how the manager develops them and uh like I said, how he uses that aspect of uh, of the character to uh, either give us a hard time, uh, no pun intended, or uh, <laughs> or or just you know or, or just have a good time, you know, himself, man. So yeah, maybe the, we, the ball's maybe, in his court. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, maybe we oh. can send Goldstein in the last room to find out get the answers. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Goldstein wants that job, man. He, he's gonna he's gonna hire a general manager quicker than shit, man. He's gonna be like, you know what? General manager position just opened up. What's your job? Ah, uh, you gotta go check that uh, him out, her out, or whatever you want to, you know. Yeah, check the tool tool department. <laughs> go to oh, tool crib. 
Oh, so yeah, so you, as you can tell, uh, Gold Lust, you've already got us. So man, you know, get, get that, get that character development, brother, because uh, should be fun moving forward. <laughs> I also want to do a shout out to Venus de Rose. She she entered the Magimania. She got second place in, uh, for the Great White Shark. Nice. Nice. So this is just showing because so, it doesn't count this time. But any going in 2019, all these uh, IWA contests, if you you place in them, you know you get points for it. Awesome. Now, uh, I, speaking of IWA contests, just while, while we have a the, our, our uh, while we're wrapping this one up, uh, the U the UWO is that is that over yet, or have they unmasked the final one? Or oh, I, I don't know. I need to go into that because Zalver Bain was in there for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, look and see, unknown wrestler league. I, I know they should be coming close to it. I mean, I can't. I can't wait for that one to to start up again. I'm I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that one to launch again. I missed out this last year. For 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 those of you guys uh, listening, uh, the Unmasked Wrestler League is a special league that the IWA uh, reopens and closes uh, as it uh, unveils its final uh, wrestler. Uh, the, I think I think if I and I could be mistaken, but uh, I'll, from what I remember about it uh as soon as the wrestler that wins the league he's allowed to throw somebody out of the league or unmask somebody yes and uh starting with like uh bulletin three i believe you know they uh the league you know the league champ could throw out you know they you pick one wrestler you want to throw out you don't know who they are because y'all you're all given a number and then five of the lowest wrestlers get eliminated also so it went away whittles, yeah whittles down you know how many wrestlers are in there so and it's a year long contest yeah how many was in there when you did it sean god a hundred and seventy or eighty it was quite a bit whoa whoa hey, you know what the cool thing is though you do obviously you do get to keep you don't keep your losses, but you keep your wins and your stars and everything. So, like, yeah, and your Salvador, money. Salvador Bain jumped up like 400 <laughs> wins or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, that caught my attention, dude. I mean, that I, I had, no, I mean, obviously, I seen the contest, but it didn't, you know, I didn't get that slap in the face till I saw the Salvador Bain record. And I was like, how the hell does this guy have 800 wins all of a sudden? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> Oh man! For those of you guys that don't know, Salvador Bain. Salvador Bain is uh, is a character that stems uh, from the Mass Mayhem League, or in in my uh, in my history, stems from the Mass Mayhem League, and is currently in the Superhero League. So if you are looking uh, to tangle with uh, the Savior himself, uh, Salvador Bain is uh, is there in the SHL right now. Oh man, guys! I mean, it's uh, like I said, it's interesting to see how 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 big the association is, and as uh, as we get deeper and deeper into it, it's how some of our characters have just, you know, they, they've grown lives of their, of their own. They've grown lives of their own. Yeah. Your buddy Paul's in there. In the superhero league. Yeah, in the Unknown Wrestler League also. Is he? Yeah. Paul Argus. Is that his name? Oh, Zach. Zach no, Argus. No, is it Paul Hargis? Is that your buddy, Paul? Uh no, no, he's uh that must be another guy. He's uh Sil- oh. Silverlace. Okay. Uh, oh, so, so, so there's another Paul in the in the did, he just yeah. got unmasked? Uh no, he, he's a manager and he just talked. Uh, he's he's an interesting one. So go you could probably try to find the old bullets. If, 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 what are they if, down to now? They have 57 wrestlers here, so I, I don't see if they unmask anybody yet. They may announce it next next cycle. Nice, yeah. That's that, I, I, like I yeah. said, I know, and I and I know that it moves from federation to federation. Is yes, that, I think that, that's the okay. So let's get it. Let, let's get it out of the iron. Let's yeah. get it out of the iron. Yeah. I think so. it was in bronze last year. It's in iron this year. Well. 
2018, 2019. I'm not for sure where it's going. And from what you can remember, Sean, the no no limit, right? You're allowed to enter as many, or is there a cap? I'm not for sure, but I don't remember there being a cap. I think whoever you want, however many you want. Nice, yeah. So yeah, yeah and and again, we're talking about the unmasked wrestler, uh, the UWL. Uh, like I said, it's yeah, definitely the unknown not, wrestler league. It, it's definitely uh, one of those uh, events or uh, the IWA at large that. If you are new to the game, definitely look in on it. It is a lot of fun. It you know it it adds a it, it adds a big push to a fa- a fighter or a wrestler of your choice. So yeah, def- and we definitely we can, recommend it. And we can confirm that if you get a five hundred one in that league, you're not eligible for the world title. Oh yeah. shit! No way. Yeah. yeah, it's a contest league, so they don't consider it a league league. Oh, okay, so that kind of blows. <laughs> that kind of blows. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, that one was learned the hard way. <laughs> did did one of you guys? Yeah, Zal- Zal- yeah Zalvador got it. Oh, no! He had a 5 one so we thought he had a chance for it, for the oh. league. And they said, no, it's a contest. Dang, that sucks. Th- then he was eliminated in the next cycle. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I think I've heard I've heard other managers say this, and they said, hey, you know what? It, it It's kind of better that you don't win the league. It, yes, it, exactly. You got it. You got to kind of low lay. profile. Yeah, exactly. Keep low. Well, I, th- I think I threw out somebody's buddy and they just got back with me. So. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what happened yeah. there. Man. Like, you know, because then again, you got that other side of the game that's communicating that, you know, they already know who they are. So, yes. Oh, well, it's, it's you, just gave me a, you just gave me a storyline idea for Salvador Bain, Sean. Off topic. We'll <laughs> talk about it later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. And uh, like I said, uh, uh, going to go ahead and plug the Facebook again. If you're not on the all-new Rev- Revolution Wrestling Facebook uh, group, uh, make sure you get there as soon as you can. A lot going to happen these next couple of cycles. A lot of uh, a lot of history there. You can always backtrack to you know when we took over, you know when Sean took over as commissioner, because uh, you know a lot of the stuff is posted from back in you know in our early our early days, but. We are going to move it a little, you know, a little more of these upcoming cycles in the start of uh, 2019. See if we can uh, generate some more uh, angles and trash talk there as well. So uh, for uh, Sean and Brandon, uh, you've been listening to myself, IWA Flip, here on the sounds of the Revolution Wrestling League. Uh, You guys have a good morning. Take care, guys. You too.